So we just had a fabulous day out on the water with the Chesapeake Bay Foundation. They are just an incredible organization that does great work, great education. Uh, it's designed to take students out, middle school, high school, college, out on the Potomac and Anacostia rivers. And the whole goal of the day is to really investigate the health of the river. So you're gonna have your test, and you're basically gonna run each test twice. You're gonna run it once with the Anacostia water, and you're gonna run it again with the Blue Plains water. And why is dissolved oxygen important, you think? Because it gives uh, the fishes oxygen. Uh, the habitat, mm -hmm. right? Fish don't come up and breathe out in the air, but they get their oxygen from the water. So our oxygen level for Anacostia was eight parts per million. Our oxygen level for uh, Blue Plains was six parts per million. And then we're also looking at which side is like cleaner, depending on the, the salinity. Really? Oh. Yeah. There's no salt water here. And you got the one that was over there. Yes, I got that And one. actually, what is what is turbidity? Whoever measured turbidity, you want to tell the group what is turbidity? It's how like far how down. clear the water is. <laughs> yeah, that. Uh, with the plankton, we had put the thing in the water to see if we would catch any, and we caught a couple of them. I got to see under the microscope. Um, they look interesting. They look like little worms in balloons. <laughs> Students definitely gain a, a new appreciation when they're out on the water and they see, they, they see things and they see how it affects the wildlife. They see, they see trash and they get angry. Some humans don't, under, like, don't know about recycling and stuff like that. So they just throw everything away and then they don't know that it's affecting the river. And then they're going to be more likely to go and, and promote you know, recycling and, and, and being a good steward of the environment because they've been there. They care about the, these animals. They, they know more about the water and how what they do affects it. Everything, all those doors are spread in the whole meadow as wide as the back part of the boat. When we look at the river and catch fish and pull up a big net full of uh, you know, seven different species of fish, that really says to them and to us that there's still something in the river. These guys right here are called pumpkin seed sunfish. Guys know why they're called sunfish? What does it look like when you turn them upside down? Sun. Looks like the sun coming up and they're called pumpkin seed sunfish because there's a lot of different kinds of sunfish, but this guy right here has all these little orange spots on them. Chesapeake Bay Foundation's mission is to save the Chesapeake Bay and improve its water quality. Uh, and the Potomac is the second largest tributary to the Chesapeake, so the health of the river really drives the health of the bay. We were looking at maps, and for our map, like we had the different um, rivers that flow into the watershed. And some of the rivers had runoff. Yeah, why would we be interested in too much algae growing in the river? It can block the sunlight from. Yeah. Yeah. Getting down to the bottom. So it blocks sunlight, our turbidity goes down, so those grasses at the bottom aren't getting enough sunlight. If you have too much algae, it's blocking that sunlight. Our goal is to bring students out and have the river and have the surroundings be the teacher or the educator for the day. And we're just really helping them uh, see that through the different tools that we have on board. See, right now we've touched the bottom because we can't no longer lower it. Our whole uh, idea is to learn outside. It's um, 190 centimeters deep on this side. And now we have to do this side. And, uh, and to learn by actually doing things. A lot of education, a lot of people think education happens only in the classroom, only in books. Uh, here the classroom is the boat uh, and the books are the fish and the books are the water quality tests that they're running. And is it easier to see while, while we're out here? Is it easier to make connections while we're out here from the boat as opposed to talking about it in class and yes. seeing pictures? It's much better. Does it make more sense? Yeah. yeah. So I think it makes a huge impact, not just on my students, but also on, on their friends and, and their friends. Save the